me about yourself thank you sir for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself my name is rani popat gurule i am from sinnar mm-hmm. but currently staying in nasik okay um, i have completed my diploma in automobile engineering from okay. government polytechnic nasik okay. i am currently pursuing my software development course in dotnet okay uh, about my family there are four members in my family mm-hmm. my father brother mother and me okay. uh, my <coughs> strengths are i am self motivated hard working and disciplined person okay. uh, my weaknesses is uh, weaknesses uh, i am over thinking uh, but i am currently working on it okay. uh, my hobbies are listening music playing cricket reading mm-hmm. and writing and i want to become software developer that's all about me okay so you have done your diploma right yes. you are a diploma student yes sir okay diploma in which stream automobile engineering okay diploma in automobile engineering yes, sir. okay so rani tell me about something about c sharp dot net what is dot net basically dot net is a technology of microsoft mm-hmm. to create different type of applica- uh, application okay and uh, c sharp uh, is a simple powerful object oriented programming language okay uh, developed by microsoft also and okay. uh, which runs on dot net okay. uh, anders ilbergs is the developer of c sharp mm-hmm. uh, c sharp is a type set uh, object oriented programming language Okay. Uh, C sharp uh, adopt almost all the features of C C plus plus Java, okay. but some advanced features added in C sharp. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can create uh, desktop application, Windows application, data ta- uh, database application, games in C sharp. Okay, so uh, C sharp is an object oriented programming yes, language, right? Yes, so sir. So now tell me different pillars of object oriented programming. Okay. Uh, classes and object mm-hmm. encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and abstraction these are the pillars of oops okay and uh, what is dot net framework basically dot uh, net frameworks is the set of components mm-hmm. used to compile and execute program written in dot net compatible languages okay so what are different components of dot net framework a uh, cls common language specification hmm? clr common language uh, run t- uh, run, run time, time. Okay. cts common type system hmm? uh, fcl framework class library okay these are the different pillars of c sharp okay so what is that clr basically clr is common language run time hmm? uh, it uh, features is uh, it's a heart of dot net framework and okay. it's a uh, uh, compiler Okay, it's, it's a compiler hmm. uh, what is compile what what is the it's compilation a compile, process it's compile uh, yeah hmm. uh, it converts msil code into native converter okay msil so, what is the full form of msil uh, microsoft intermediate language microsoft intermediate, intermediate language. language yes okay and you do a convert it into msil co- uh, native into code. native code machine yes code. machine okay. code what is a jet compiler JIT is just in time compiler uh, mm-hmm. it, which is inbuilt in uh, CLR okay, common part of CLR, CLR okay. is part of CLR okay what is FCL that framework class library means mm-hmm. uh, inbuilt classes are stored inside the FCL, FCL. okay yeah. so what is namespace in c sharp dot namespace namespace is also collection of classes it's a collection of classes. classes can you give me some example of some namespaces namespace uh, system is also namespace system dot uh, uh, text dot uh, uh, regular expression is also namespace okay. which namespace com- you have used uh, to connect uh, database mysql connection namespace is used to connect database that is a driver right okay and which is for uh, your uh, file handling which file. namespace you are used file handling configuration aha yes io io namespace, io namespace. Okay. now uh, coming back to object oriented programming yes sir so uh, what is encapsulation basically Uh, encapsulation means binding of data members and member functions together mm-hmm. uh, is known as encapsulation okay. uh, generally we keep data member as a private encapsulation and member okay. function is a public okay uh, have you heard about uh, properties in c sharp properties mm-hmm. uh, yes sir what is what are properties 
there are three types of four properties mm. read only properties mm. uh, write only and read and write property okay what is auto implemented property uh, when there is no need to logic in our program no need to implement in logic no. inside program we use okay. auto implemented property mm -hmm. It create private fields, right? Yes, in yes. Intermediate code. Okay. Yes, so, uh, what is inheritance in C sharp? Okay. Inheritance means when we construct new class from existing class mm -hmm. uh, in such way that new class access all the features and properties of existing class. Okay. It's known as an inheritance. It okay. provides code reusability. Code reusability. Okay. Reusability. Okay. We we okay. cannot access private members of class through inheritance. Okay. And what is sealed class in C sharp? Uh, sealed class uh, which uh, stops inheritance. Okay. We cannot uh, create child class of sealed class. Okay. It prevents inheritance. Okay. We cannot uh, create child, child class. Okay. Oh. And uh, what is partial class then? Uh, partial class is a special feature. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah, it can. Um, uh, when the class file is too large, yes. Right? Even then class file is too large, mm -hmm. uh, then we use partial class, and it used to split the uh, class. Okay. Uh, when um, uh, 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 sing, uh, so when class the class definition is too large, split. we divide that into more than oh, one yes, file. Yes. Yes. So okay. So now tell me something about uh, abstract class. Okay, abstract class is a con uh, contract mm -hmm. which consists of abstract and non-abstract methods okay. uh, and uh, abstract class uh, uh, we cannot uh, uh, create child class open uh, we cannot uh, mm -hmm. we cannot can we create child class or no yes, yes we can create child class yes. open abstract class but uh, uh, we must implement abstract method of uh, abstract class okay and abstract class uh, Yes. So okay. can we write normal methods and means concrete and uh, non-abstract methods in abstract class? Yes. But no abstract yes. and non-abstract method we it's can write. Methods yes. We can write inside abstract in abstract class. class. Okay. So uh, tell me something about uh, Windows application. What are different Windows application or and what are tools you have used in Windows application? Windows application tools is uh, uh, like uh, text box, uh, mm -hmm. drop down, radio bo radio button, okay. uh, check box list. Uh, okay. mm, uh, these are the okay. tools. Okay, these are the tools you have used yes. in yes. those applications. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, what is the exception basically? And how to handle exceptions in C sharp and also give me some examples of common exceptions. Okay. Exceptions are runtime er errors occurs mm -hmm. when programs is in running states. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not syntax or logical errors okay. due to exception normal pro mm -hmm. program is disturbed and it mm -hmm. terminates abnormally. Okay. Do, uh, we can handle exception by using try catch and finally block. Mm -hmm. In try block we have uh, we write our logic mm -hmm. and when exception occurs it will execute execute next line and jumps to catch block okay. catch block catches except exception and display mm -hmm. to user okay. and finally is not mandatory block mm -hmm. uh, we can use to perform final task like okay. file closing or database connection okay. or give database any connection. message to user, user. okay uh, some examples are uh, null pointer exceptions mm -hmm. array index out of bounds exceptions mm -hmm. uh, number format exception arithmetic mm -hmm. exceptions these are the arithmetic exception. Can you just explain me what is arithmetic? Arithmetic means um, any example. Any of example. Arithmetic? Uh, any uh, value given. Basic my basic salary. Divided by zero. 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 Yes. That zero by zero. Arithmetic. arithmetic what exception. is array out of bond exception? Array out of bond. Mm -hmm. When the array, array index, index is. is uh, no. Not, no, not matching. Okay. That, that is array index, index out, out of bounds bond exceptions. Okay. Okay, so um, okay, Rani. Uh, so, आपको और ज़्यादा prepare करना है, okay, deeply prepare करना है, ठीक yes. है, logic में ज़्यादा अभी आप focus करो yes. और proper और answers देने का try करो, okay? Thank you. Bye bye.